What's up guys, it's Ed back again here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the first ever video of FIFA 22 here on the channel today. We are on the EA Play trial, we've got 10 hours and today I'm going to be kicking off the Crystal Palace career mode. So if you are new around here, want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Without any further ado, as I said, I've got 10 hours so I'm just going to get straight in to this Crystal Palace career mode. Transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, let's get on into this career mode with Crystal Palace. If you're excited, let me know. Subscribe, do our good stuff. Let's go. Manager created, as you can tell by the title and why you clicked on this video, Crystal Palace is going to be our team. 36 million euros or dollars. Crystal Palace, we are going to go whack it on ultimate. This is FIFA. This is my game, FIFA. Six minute halves, we're going to go pounds. Sterling, yes. Financial takeover, no. Strict. International jobs, yes. Transfer, no enable. Those are the settings we're going to go with. We're going to make this a challenge. This is our career mode. We're going to make it a big, big challenge. Um, and hopefully we can have, have a really good um, time. Mate, I've been so excited for this game. Honestly, so, so excited. I've been wanting to come out for so long. We wanted to make FIFA content again for so long. Crystal Palace career mode starts now. Okay, okay. This is what my guy looks like. Pretty accurate representation of myself, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Haig, number one. We are going to go with the European International Cup. That's what we'll go with. We're going to go into Europe. Um, and yeah, this is the first episode of the Crystal Palace career mode. As I say, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go for Millie Rise. Myself with the side, create my starting lineup and get into the squad hub and show you everything. I'm going to identify some transfers that we need. Um, and yeah, I'll come back to you guys once I've found my starting 11 and um, identified some transfer targets for you guys. So let me know down in the comment section below. Let's do it. So, you know me. We know game plans, we know game plans. I've got, only got 10 hours, we don't have time for them. We love to play here at Ed Haig FC. We love to play 4 2 3 1. Can Zaha play as a cam for us? I think Zaha would be quite a good option as a cam. Edward as striker. Oh, we've got Conor Gallagher as a cam, okay. Zaha can't play on the right. Hmm. How do we get Eze into this team? Maybe there. Eze, are you on the right? We might need a right winger. Kuyate, Milivojevic, MacArthur or Reed Vald. Let me know, as always, let me know down in the comment section below any transfer things that you disagree with. Let me know down in L comments section. We're going to have Kuyate and Milivojevic as our DMs. And we're going to have left back. Left back, we need players. We need a, we need a big left back. Because we've got Mitchell. Centre-backs, Tomkins and Anderson. Klein can go in at right-back and then Gaeta. This squad, if we're looking at it, ain't the best. It actually ain't the best, I think. We need a left-back badly. We need a right-winger badly. And depending on how I get on with Edward, we might need another striker. But we do have Benteke on the bench. We've got Benteke, Conor Gallagher, MacArthur, Schlupp, Butland, Gay, Reedveld. And in the reserves, we've not got met. We've not got much. We've not got much. Um, this is going to be a challenge with Crystal Palace. I'm going to do what Patrick Vieira is aiming to do and um, take Crystal Palace to glory. Now, defensive style, we are going to go. I want to be pr pressure after possession loss. Let's have five seconds of fury. Let's lose the ball, win the ball back quite wide. And we want to press quite high. I like a high press. Not sure how it's going to work this year, but who knows. We're going to have, I think fast build up but suits us quite quick, quite well. I think you look at the players we've got, it suits us quite well. Forward runs, we're going to have chance creation, possession, forward runs. Yeah, we'll have forward runs. We want to be playing really wide. If we've got that big man like Benteke or Edward in the, in the box. We want to be playing 
Really, really wide. Let's get a lot of players in the box. Corners, yes, boom. Okay, Zaha's going to be our club captain again this year. Edward. Milivojevic is going to be our free kick taker. You know who's going to be our penalty taker. Milivojevic. <laughs> 80, 90 penalties, boy. 90 penalties. Milivojevic is going to be on everything apart from captain, obviously. And then we're going to have... I will do these off camera um, and sort of when I have the full game because I'm not going to waste an hour doing tactics how I want them when I've only got 10 hours on the game. So that's how we're going to line up. Um, yeah, the team is all right. We need a right winger. We need a left back. Let me know down in the comment section below who is your main transfer targets for us. Obviously, we've got the squad hub. Run you through the squad real quick. Gaeta. Matthews, Butland, Butland only 28. I think I'm going to try and use Jack Butland to maybe be the first team goalkeeper in a couple of years when Gaeta moves on because Gaeta is 34. Let me know down in the comment section below if we need a goalkeeper. Left back, we definitely need. We've only got two at the club. The best one is Tarek Mitchell, 71 rated. Centre backs, we've got Kelly, Kuyate, Tompkins, Anderson. They're four solid centre backs. I think we're all right at centre back. Nathan Ferguson, Nathaniel Klein, Joel Ward. Uh, Reedveld can play left back as well. He hasn't got it down there, but he can play left back as well. But right back situation, I think we're okay apart from the fact that they're both aging a little bit. Milivojevic and Reedveld are two good centre mids. Eze Schlup, uh, Schlup is a very good. Schlup can play left back as well, actually. He has played left back in the past. Jeffrey Schlup might be another left back option for us. Uh, Eze is going to be a player that I'm really, really excited to use this season. Can't wait to use him. My camera's about to run out of battery. Colin Gallagher is in on loan from Chelsea. MacArthur is getting on a little bit as well. Will Hughes is going to be a good one for us, I think, um, in the future. Zaha, 28 years of age, club captain, by far and away our best player. Five-star skill moves. I cannot wait to use Wilfred Zaha. Um, and then up front, we've got Ayu, Benteke, Edouard. Um, and that's pretty much it for us, for our team. We need players through the door. We need big, big transfers. We've got 26 million pounds. 33 million pounds with our wage split like that. So we've got a little bit of money that we can bring players in through the door with. European International Cup, we don't really care about that. Youth Academy Report, what we do have, however, because I've got the Ultimate Edition, is a future star. Might be this guy, Harris Vidmar. Might be a future star goalkeeper for us. Vision and expectations. They want us to, within two seasons, have one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first three games. Brand exposure. They want us to have an average age of 28. So they don't want us to bring in youth players. They want us to bring in old players with experience so that we have an average age of 28. That's new in the game. I like the idea of that. I don't really know why you want us to bring in older players but okay finish with a profit margin of 86 million pounds that is going to be tough that is going to be very very tough uh, i don't know if we're going to be able to do that we might not we might not have the money to spend in this first season due to this we have to print with a profit margin of 86 million pounds finish mid table and reach the round of 16 in the emirates fa cup and no continental success, obviously, because we are not in Europe. We have a scout report on a couple of players. I don't need these scouts. I don't need this assistant manager because that's you guys. That is your guys' job. Um, Edward Dunn. All right, mate. Yeah, I've got I've got hundreds of people watching this video are my scouts. Um, okay, we're going to get straight in to this... Um, pre-season friendly gonna bang it out all in this first episode so next episode we can go straight into the Premier League season Wilfred Zaha says greetings boss welcome to Crystal Palace the future is exciting Wilf the future is very very exciting indeed um, we want to keep morale as high as possible I'm not obviously not going to fix it in the game um, you know we are going to answer questions as they should be answered but we're going to try and keep morale as high as possible as well we have the first game against Wolfsburg here we're going to simulate all of these. Sim match. And 
jumped a result. 1-1. A decent result against a very good side in Wolfsburg. We will take that. If we can get through the group stage and potentially win this competition, I will be very happy indeed. We do have her to Berlin. Don't forget to use substitutes. Yeah, I know, I know. Thanks, thanks, Sifton Gaffer. I've not done a career mode ever before in my life. Um, nice. We're going to rotate everyone here, pretty much. Give everyone a little run out in pre-season. That's what it's for. MacArthur, Ferguson, Kelly, this guy, Ward, Butland. We might lose this. We might not. Quick sim, the second game of pre-season. We win three goals to one. Lovely, lovely stuff indeed. Looks like we're going to get through the group. Looks like we're going to get some prize money. In. We've got Marseille next. International management, I ain't about that. I will do the training. Um, obviously, once the 10 hours have passed, once the full game comes out on the 27th, I will do the full training. I'll get A's, stars, A's and everything. Um, but for now, I'm not wasting any time. I've only got 10 hours. And I'm going to play some ultimate team as well. Third game of pre-season. 2-0 win. We are through the group stage. Top the group stage. Unbeaten in the group stage. Things that we absolutely... Love to see. We've got Frankfurt in the semis. 1.1 million pounds into the budget. <clears throat> Can we do a slight rotation here? Benteke. Conor Gallagher. Will Hughes. Schlupp. Reedveld and MacArthur. Ward. Gay. Tell me how to pronounce that in the comments as well, please. Because I'm unsure. Jack can go in. Ferguson and Gaeta can stay. We might lose this. We might lose this. I've not gone very strong. We lose on penalties. We lose on penalties. MacArthur and Will Hughes are the ones to miss their penalties. We lose on penalties and we would have had Marseille in the final. We would have had Marseille in the final. That's not the best, but we do get £2.5 million into the bank. Lovely, jubbly indeed. We didn't reach the final, which was our aim. Unfortunate, but our transfer budget is now up. To 30, 34 million pounds or so. First game of the season. In the next episode, we will face Chelsea away from home, then Brentford, and then West Ham. Three London clubs in a row to start off the season for us. Hopefully, hopefully we will um, get a good, get a couple of good results in the next episode to start off the Premier League season. In this series, I'm going to be doing a month per episode, pretty much. So. Uh, maybe in December or January when it gets tight, um, I might change it to a month every two episodes. But, um, you know, for the, when there's three games in a month, I will be doing a month. So, yeah, if you're excited about this, let me know down in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Let me know your transfer targets and everything like that down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice rest of your day. Goodbye. She wants to be my one, that girl she wants me to I just wanna be free, I just wanna do me I just wanna do me and then Feelings and all the mix, I like you but I'll never let me know